Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be talking about 1950s skincare. So I'm going to be using authentic, historically accurate 1950s skincare products for an entire week and all the products that I will be using existed in the 1950s. And before we jump into me actually trying the products, I'm going to do a brief history of all the products that I'll be featuring in this skincare routine. So in the morning, I'm going to be cleansing my skin with Noxzema. And Noxzema is a brand of cleanser that's been around since 1914. It has been sold in a small cobalt blue jar. And Noxzema contains camphor, menthol, and eucalyptus, among many other ingredients. And it was originally developed as a sunburn remedy. And it is frequently used as a facial cleanser and makeup remover. It is also used for soothing chapped and sunburn, otherwise irritated skin. And I've been using it in the mornings. I find it so invigorating and refreshing. And I feel like the jar that you get nowadays is so big. It lasts such a long time and I honestly love it. It's like one of my favorite things about waking up in the morning. And then in the evening, I like to use Pond's Cold Cream to remove my makeup. And I do this with Kleenex tissues. And Pond's Cream was invented in the United States by a medicine pharmacist in Ithaca, New York in 1846. And Mr. Pond extracted a healing tea from witch hazel, which he discovered could heal small cuts and other scrapes. And the product was named Golden Treasure. And after he died, it would soon be known as Pond's Extract. By the 20th century, the company's main emphasis was selling cosmetic products the Pond's Vanishing Cream and the Pond's Cold Cream. And these two were created hand in hand, marking the entrance of Pond's products into the facial care industry. And you can still buy Pond's today, and it was very popular as a makeup remover in the 1950s. And next is Kleenex, which I'll be using to remove my Pond's. Kleenex began during the First World War. It developed a crepe paper used as a filter for gas masks. In the early 1920s, it was adapted as a consumer product called Kotex brand to help women with their periods. The Kotex trademark was derived from the combination of the words cotton and texture. The company itself has confirmed that this name was chosen as it met their requirements for being short, easy to say, easy to remember, and easy to explain. In 1924, the name Kleenex was selected as the name for the line of cold cream remover, the word clean portion of the name denotes its cleansing purpose. And the X was added to show the Kleenex was of the family of the products included Kotex. And uh, this video was sponsored by Vivea, and this is a sustainable shoe brand. So I spent a few years working at a thrift shop in their donation center. So I saw so much clothing, shoes, and accessories coming in every day. And unfortunately, so many of the shoes would fall apart and they were a lot of name brands that we know today. And it is really hard to resell shoes, so they don't really have a long shelf life. So sometimes you forget about all the waste that goes into shoes, especially when you're buying them new and you don't really see them on the other end. That's why sometimes I like to buy vintage shoes and I was really excited to work with Vivia because all of their shoes are sustainable. And if you use the code LJA, you will get 20% off your purchase. And I love these shoes because of their cute vintage inspired look. They kind of remind me of Audrey Hepburn and they're so timeless. I chose two different black ballet flat designs and these shoes are made from recycled plastic water bottles. And at Vivia they use recycled materials obtained from plastic water bottles, turning them into spools of thread to knit the surface material for the shoes, creating a signature sustainable material that will last for years to come. They also come with an eco-friendly and deodorizing insole. With a mix of natural herbal and PU foam, the insole is cushiony, supportive, breathable, mold proof, and moisture wicking that can avoid smelly feet even in heat and humidity. Their soles are created using carbon-free rubber for a highly elastic and flexible feel that is shock resistant, fungi proof, and odor resistant. And these shoes are machine washable, which I love because I find, especially with ballet flats, because you're not actually wearing socks most of the time with them, 
they do tend to get a little stinky, especially in the summer months. And I love that these are breathable and you can throw them in the washing machine. So you're gonna get so much wear out of these shoes and you're doing so much good for the environment if you think about it versus buying like cheap plastic shoes that a lot of the times you can wear them one season and you end up throwing them away. And unfortunately these will wind up in a landfill and all the packaging is also recycled and their packaging is created using 90% recycled materials. So make sure you use my promo code LJA in the description box to get your 20% off discount code. And I'm so excited to wear these through the winter, spring, and summer, and I love that they're machine washable, so make sure you click the link below again to get my promo code. And the first Western facial tissue was introduced in 1924 and originally marketed as a way to remove cold cream, and it had already been used in Japan for centuries, which is very interesting, I had no idea. It was a disposable substitute for face towels or cotton wool. In 1925, the first Kleenex tissue ad was used in magazines showing the new secret of keeping pretty skin as used by famous movie stars. A few years after the introduction of Kleenex, the company's head researcher tried to persuade the head of advertising to try and market the tissue for colds and hay fever. The administrator declined the idea, but then committed a small amount of ad space to mention of using Kleenex tissue as a handkerchief. And by the 1930s, Kleenex was being marketed with the slogan, don't carry a cold in your pocket. And it's used as a disposable handkerchief replacement became its predominant use. And honestly, this whole time, I always wondered why in the 50s people and earlier with vintage skincare, why they always use Kleenex. I remember watching old movies and even like seeing episodes of The Crown, the queen would use Kleenex tissues to remove her cold cream. I always thought it was so weird. I never really understood it. I was like, why are they doing this? But now it completely makes sense considering that's what it was first invented for. But I always grew up using Kleenex as an actual tissue for blowing your nose. So I had no idea. And I was really surprised when I discovered this and started looking at vintage ads. And it made me really like Kleenex more and I ended up buying like a 20 box pack of it. And next on the list is pear soap, and this will be used in my double cleanse. In the 1950s, after using your cold cream and removing it with Kleenex, it was popular to do a double cleanse, and you would use a bar of soap. Marilyn Monroe even did this with Erno Laszlo soap. And I'll be using pear soap, which was very popular in the 1950s. And pear soap was the first transparent soap brand, and it was first produced and sold in 1807 by Andrew Pears at a factory just off Oxford Street in London, England. It was the world's first mass-marketed translucent soap. And after doing my double cleanse, I will then be using a toner, and I will be using Sea Breeze Astrogen. And this was a popular product in the 1950s, and Sea Breeze has been around since 1906, so it's super vintage. And the original formula was initially sold as an antiseptic for minor cuts and scratches. And after using my astrogen, I'm going to go into using Oil of Olay, which was a very popular product in the 1950s. And Olay originated in South Africa, and it was called Oil of Olay. Graham Wolf started it in 1952, and he chose the name Oil of Olay as a spin on the word lanolin, a key ingredient in the cream. And this was unique in the early days because it was a pink fluid rather than a cream packaged in a heavy glass bottle. Olay's marketing was also unique since it was never described as a moisturizer nor even as a beauty fluid. Nowhere on the packaging did it say what the product actually did. Print advertisements used copies such as Share the Secret of a Younger Looking You and talked about the beauty secret of Oil of Olay. And Oil of Olay Day Cream was launched in 1952. It says right there on the packaging as well as the original beauty fluid. And to finish off my skincare routine in the evening, I'm gonna be using Nivea almost as a sleep mask to apply at the end of all my moisturizing. And the Nivea company was founded on March 28th, 1882. And it was founded in Germany. In 1900, Nivea developed the first stable water and oil emulsion, and this was the origin of Eucerin. During the 1930s, Nivea produced various products such as tanning oils, shaving cream, shampoo, facial cleanser, and toners. 
And also in the 1950s, it was popular to use a face mask at least once a week. Sometimes when you look at old photos, you'll see uh, ladies with that kind of bright green face mask. And a popular one was Queen Hylene's. And this one it came out in the 1930s. And I'm going to be finishing off the end of my week by trying this face mask. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to see my review of the Queen Hylene face mask. Good morning, lovely. So today is day one of the 1950s skincare challenge. And... To start out, I'm going to wash my face with Noxzema. I've been using this for a few weeks and I've been loving it. I find it very refreshing in the morning. I use it every morning and I find that the scent and the sensation is very like tingly and invigorating on my skin. And I use the classic clean moisturizing eucalyptus one. So it's a little bit more moisturizing than the regular and I really slather it on. I just find it like so invigorating in the morning when I wake up and I feel like it's been really good on my skin. It makes it really soft and for the price you get this massive tug. So I'm definitely going to buy it again. I initially started using it for my cold cream video and I kind of fell in love with it. So I use it every morning on my skin and I really like it. I find it like really fresh. So I do a nice mask like this. And now I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then I'll check back with you guys. So I just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna use Sea Bury Astrogen, which is very popular in the 1950s. I've never used this before. So I'm really excited to try it. I know I posted it in my community tab and a bunch of you were like, oh my God, don't do it. So I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. It smells very tingly. Ooh, it feels very refreshing on my skin. And I have the original formula. And I never saw this in Canada before. So I don't even know if you can get it here. I got it on Amazon. It feels pretty good. It seems like it's really like cleaning my skin. There's all the dirt coming off. That was so invigorating. So now I'm gonna put on the original Olay Moisture Cream. It's from 1952. That's a beautiful pink color. It smells super vintage too, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that. And this is their day cream, so I'm gonna put that on my skin. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It feels so feminine. I'm going to follow things up with the original Hydrating Beauty Fluid from 1952. And I'm gonna use this kind of as like a primer before I put on my foundation. And it has a similar scent. And that feels really nice on my skin. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my makeup and I'll check back with you guys later. Hello lovely, so it's the end of the day and I feel like my skin feels pretty soft and nice. So I'm gonna continue on with the 1950s beauty products and I'm going to use Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. My jar is almost out. Luckily I have two other ones stashed away. So I'm gonna wrap it on my face. And I think I'm gonna use tissues to remove it so I can be historically accurate. But first, I'm gonna rub it all in. And then I think after I use the tissues, I might have to rinse it off, but I'm gonna do a double cleanse with a 1950s bar of soap too. Normally, I just use water to rinse this or like hop in the shower in a face cloth. But to be accurate, I'm going to use the tissues. So with vintage skincare, it was common to use tissues to remove your makeup with the cold cream. I've actually never done this before, but this is interesting. Huh, actually kind of works. I wasn't expecting this. Wow, this isn't bad. Maybe there's actually something to this. Like removed all my makeup and my skin feels like clean. Weird. Okay, well, maybe there's something to this vintage stuff. I honestly did not, I thought it was gonna like stick. This is nice. Now I'm gonna do a double cleanse. In the 50s, um, Pears soap was popular and a lot of people use soap and water to wash their face in the 50s, even Marilyn Monroe. So I'm gonna lather this up and do a double cleanse and I wash my face with a nice pear soap. And I like the color because it matches my ponds. 
I'm just get it nice and soapy. And my skin feels really clean and soft. And next is the Sea Breeze Astrogen. I used this this morning and I really liked it. And my skin doesn't feel too dry or anything. So I'm just gonna open it up and put some on the cotton pad. And it feels really nice. I don't know why people are hating on this. It's so tingly and refreshing. Just rubbing it all over my face. It like actually feels pretty good. I'm not lying. And it smells good. It's like a really tingly sensation. And I feel like it cleans pretty well. My face is like still tingling right now. Okay, so my face is still tingling. And now I'm gonna put the oil of Olay Night Cream. And this is a firming night cream. And this one is from 1952. And it's that really pretty pink color and floral scent. So I'm just gonna use a little bit on my face. It goes on really nice and smooth. And then to finish things, I'm going to use um, some Nivea. So I actually bought some German Nivea and it's the same as Canadian. So I got tricked. It's exactly the same and they're both made in Germany and they have the same ingredients. So I'm going to just apply a thin layer of Nivea on top. It's like a sleep mask. And Marilyn Monroe used Nivea, Joan Collins, I think a lot of other old Hollywood movie stars did too. And I just want to like add this as an extra layer of moisture while I sleep. And that is it for the night time. And I will check back with you guys tomorrow morning and update you on my 1950s skincare routine. Good morning lovelies. So it's 5 30 a.m. and I'm just getting ready for work now and I'm starting out with my Noxema to cleanse my face in the morning for day two of the 1950s beauty products and a lot of fresh and tingly it is. I feel like my skin woke up looking pretty good today. It's not dry or anything from the sea breeze, which a lot of people said that it might be. And the Maxima always feels so good on my skin in the morning. It's like one of my favorites. So I like to just rub it in like this on my dry skin and then I'll just rinse it off with warm water. It always feels really refreshing. Okay, now my face feels so soft and fresh from the Noxema and then I'm gonna put on my Sea Breeze Astrogen. And this makes my face feel even more tingly. It definitely wakes you up. It smells really good too. I love this toner. I'm not just lying. I'm like pretty honest when I say I like something and so far I really like this. I just wish I could get it at drugstores here. Like we don't have this at drugstores. Like I've never seen it in my life. It must be an American thing. I only discovered it when I started researching Aaliyah and she uses it. And then I found an article about a hundred year old lady who had amazing skin and she used this in ponds. And Jamie Lee Curtis uses it and Drew Barrymore. And Drew Barrymore also uses Noxema. So now that I rubbed it all in, all over my face and it feels nice and tingly and awake. I'm gonna continue on. Okay, now the final steps. I'm like surprised how incredible Sea Breeze Astrogen is. Okay, now we're putting on the hydrating cream. This is the original Olay cream with that beautiful pink color. I got the larger size. I believe these are like under $10. So again, it's very affordable. And I'm just putting on a decent amount. This smells very vintage. goes on really nice and now I'm gonna put on the hydrating beauty fluid this is the original from the 50s same year as the cream I think 1952 or 3 and it's kind of gonna be like almost a primer for my makeup and it smells really good and pink again this 
smells like 1950s in a good way and it just spreads so nice on my skin and now I have a nice base to do my foundation and everything so I will check back with you this evening with an update hello lovely so today is the end of day two and I feel like my skin looks pretty good besides like mascara running under my eyes everything's quite smooth and soft I really like the beauty fluid um, underneath my foundation everything it was quite nice and my skin feels pretty good from the sea breeze I thought I would be like dry and irritated but it's not so now I'm gonna just do a quick cleanse with the ponds and rub it on my face. I'm not going to use the tissue today because I'm going to hop in the shower because on the mornings when I have to get up super early for work, I don't have time to shower. So I usually like to shower at night. But on days when I'm like staying home, I'll shower in the morning. I've still been meaning to take a bath in my claw foot bathtub. I haven't done that yet since I moved in in July. And now that the weather is cooler, I really want to. I just been busy but I really want to do like a relaxing bath because I have these cute like cat Avon bubble baths I want to try so I really need to do that. It'd be fun to like somehow do a video around like a vintage bath routine or something. But yeah I'm quite pretty impressed so far with this routine. And then just using ponds. Just, I don't mind just rubbing it on my eyes to get rid of my mascara. Yeah, today's been busy. It's like after eight now and I'm finally like in a shower and like settle in for the night and have tomorrow off. So that's good. I can like rest a bit. And I'm gonna do some filming tomorrow. I'm filming actually, I'm making Jean Harlow shampoo. So that's exciting. So anyways, I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'll check back with you guys. All right, so I just took a shower and I did a double cleanse. So I washed my face with the pear soap after. I rinsed the ponds and my face doesn't feel dry or anything. And now I'm gonna use the Sea Breeze Classic Clean. And honestly, I've never been so excited to use a toner before. I just love this. I was expecting it to really dry out my skin and be like really horrible, but it's not. I feel so good on my skin. It doesn't make it dry or irritated. And it's like tingly and I feel like it cleans it. I actually think I would buy this again. Like it feels so good. This mixed with the Noxema in the morning is glorious. I just love the sensation of the two together. I just rub it all over my face. And it's all tingly and it really cleans. Like I did a double cleanse and the sponge, look at all the dirt. It came off after doing a double cleanse in the shower. So really works well at cleaning all the dirt. So yeah, I'm really impressed with Sea Breeze. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on my night cream and that is the Night of Olay. This is a classic, beautiful petal pink and it smells so nice. And I'm just gonna put a decent amount on and this is like a firming anti-aging night cream and I'm just gonna rub it all over face and neck and chest and then to finish things off I'm gonna put on some Nivea and sometimes I like to wait a few hours so like if I'm doing this at 8 p.m. and move up at midnight I'll come back right before bed and slather on the Nivea almost as like a sleep mask and I have the German Nivea which is the same as the Canadian one I did the research I bought both and the same ingredients and they're both made in Germany so the German one and the Canadian one are very thick Nivea which I like I don't I've never tried the American one now I'm really curious maybe it's just like a lighter weight and doesn't have certain ingredients but I like the German one so I wrap it all over my hands and I just coat it on my face and it's like a nice sleep mask. I even cover my lips with it. And I use this all over my body too. And I moisturize my hands before I go to bed. My chest and everything. And I always use it on my hands. It's like my favorite hand cream. 
and that is it for day two so stay tuned and i'll see you guys tomorrow so lovely so today's kind of been a weird day because it's like just after four and i'm still in pajamas because it was my day off and i spent all morning editing a john collins video and then i went out and did a workout on my machine and stuff and i'm about to head to my parents house to film but i still want to like wash my face and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and use noxima this is what I use in the mornings to wash my face but normally I don't wait this long to get dressed in the morning but today is my day off and normally when I do go to work I start at 6 so it's kind of nice to be lazy and not feel rushed and normally I do film after work but last night there was like a gas shortage because of the storm in BC with all the floods and so people were panic buying gas and I actually didn't have any gas so I had to drive like 30 minutes outside of town after work and go get gas and stuff. And then I just ended up getting too late by the time I got home. So I, I um, am filming today instead, which is Friday. But I normally do film Tuesdays and Thursdays after work at my parents' house. So I'm gonna head there now and go film. I'm doing a Jean Harlow shampoo recipe from the 1930s. I'm gonna be making that shampoo, so stay tuned for that. And now I'm just gonna hop in the shower and do a quick rinse. And then I'll come back and do the rest of the 1950s beauty routine. All right, so I just got out of the shower and I'm dressed and ready to go. So the next step is the Sea Breeze Astrogen. And this by far has been my favorite step in the routine. I was so excited to try this and I'm really blown away. I honestly, thought my skin would be so dry from it for some reason and like irritated but it actually has been never been better like i feel like it's looking pretty good and like clear no breakouts not dry and i just love the tingling and it's such an affordable product and i mean maybe there's a reason why it's been around for like 100 years I still don't get why they don't sell it in Canada, but I like it. I think they have another formula too, maybe a more gentle one, but this one doesn't bother me and I love the tinkling. So I don't know, I'm pretty impressed by it. And I just feel like it really deep cleans your skin. And then afterwards, like my cotton pad's always like quite dirty and like I wash my face in the shower. So I find it very interesting how it picks up a lot of extra dirt. Okay, now I'm gonna put on the hydrating face cream and just a little bit. It's a really nice light formula. It has a slight vintage smell, but it's not too strong. I actually am starting to like it better than the Pond's cream. I like the Pond's original rich moisture cream a lot, but the other two scents in the newer cream and the texture I don't like as much. This one kind of compares to the Pond's original Maybe it's a little less thick, but my skin has been feeling really good all week and it goes on really smooth and nice. It's not greasy, really absorbs well. And then during the day to finish the look before I put on my makeup, I use the Hydrating Original Olay Beauty Fluid as a primer. And I just take a little bit and I put it on my face and neck and I like it. It just like acts as that extra layer of like smoothness. It makes my skin really dewy and works well as a primer under my foundation. And it keeps me looking really hydrated all day. I like to put it on my face and my chest. And it has the same smell as the cream just a little bit different texture it's hard to explain but i think they work really well together so that's that and i'll check back with you guys later tonight and i'm just gonna put on my makeup and go film so i'll come back in a few hours when i wash my face and i'll check back with you hello lovelies so i had a good day filming and everything and i have like a decent amount of makeup and foundation on i feel like my body's so pale and my face looks tanned probably from all the bronzer i put on so I'm going to use Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser to remove it. It's funny, at dinner my brother was like, oh, did you like go tanning or something? But now I actually can see it. 
face looks a lot darker. So anyways, no, it's just the bronzer. So I'm gonna put it all over my face. And now, since I already took a shower today, I'm gonna use the tissue to remove it this time. And then I was surprised by how well that worked the last time. And then I'll do the double cleanse with the um, pear soap. And then put the pawns. I'm gonna put in my eyes too, because I'm wearing eye makeup. So I'm gonna do my eyes. Now that I have it all over my face, saturated, I'm just gonna rinse my hands and then use the tissue. And I realized I need to pick up another box of tissues. I only have two left, so I gotta make these last. But as you can see, it works really well at getting rid of all my makeup. I was like so surprised the first time I did this. I almost want to start using tissues instead of um, these, but I guess these are good for toner, but like it really works. I always kind of thought it was weird when I saw those like 1950s videos and like in movies where they use cold cream and tissue and I never tried it. And I just was like, that makes no sense. Why would someone do that? But it definitely works. Or you could use the wet cloth, but honestly, and then my skin feels really soft from it. And you don't necessarily have to do a double cleanse. I wouldn't do a double cleanse if I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup. I'd probably just go straight to the astrogen. But since I was wearing a lot of makeup today, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my face with some of the pear soap. Just to make sure I got rid of all the makeup. I actually don't mind the soap either. It doesn't really dry out my skin at all. And it doesn't burn my eyes. Like I can rub my eyes with it and it doesn't like burn or irritate. So I don't mind it, it's pretty good. I'm just gonna lather up and I feel pretty fresh. And now I'm gonna go in with the sea breeze astrogen. And I like this step because I find that it picks up the little bit of dirt that's left on my skin and it gives me that really nice tingly sensation all over. And again, my skin is not dry at all from using this, which I'm surprised by. I honestly, I know I've mentioned this almost every time, but I wasn't sure what to expect and I thought it, my skin would be very irritated, but it's not. It actually has almost feel better, surprisingly than it did before. So I don't know, I'm pretty impressed with it. And I feel like it picks up all this extra dirt. Like this cotton ball is all filthy after a double cleanse. I'll show you again one more time. But like, look how dirty that is. And I did cold cream, the tissue and soap and there's still dirt. And when I was using my other toner, I never had that, so. And now I'm just gonna put on my firming night cream, the Olay, and then quickly do my Nivea mask with my German slash Canadian Nivea. And that is it for tonight, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning, lovely. So it's Saturday, and I just got out of the shower, washed my hair. It was for a Jean Harlow video. And now I'm gonna use my Noxima and do a nice morning face cleanse and invigorate my skin and moisturize it. And then just do, normally I do this in the shower, but I didn't this time. But I'm just going to rinse her off. Ah, feels good. Okay, so now that I've done that, I feel like I've spoke a little bit too soon about the sea breeze because I was bragging about it. And I realized I think I developed some contact dermatitis around the nose area. At first I thought it was a breakout, but they're like little bumps and it's like itchy around this area. And I've had it before and once it starts, it's hard to get rid of and it kind of just hurts a bit and it's itchy at first. I was like, oh, it's just a little breakout, but no, it's not because I've had it before and I thought there were pimples and usually it flares up around the nose area and like right here for me. I don't have anything there, but there, and I've had it before where it was like so hard to get rid of. 
can almost become like a fungal thing. So I don't want to keep making it worse. So I'm gonna take a day or two off from using this. And I was looking at the ingredients. I'm trying to think what it could be. Could it be the alcohol? Maybe the Campor fragrance? Um, the sodium benzo eight, yellow five or yellow orange, I'm not sure, but something's bugging my skin. I really liked it, so I'm kind of sad, but my skin is starting to feel itchy. So something, I think it's that, because I've been using Noxema now for like two or three months, and I wasn't irritated. I was using the ponds for a few months, not irritated. I'm pretty sure it's not the Olay either. I have a feeling it's something in the sea breeze. So I'm gonna go to use this toner which I always use and nothing irritates it. And this one's alcohol free, so it could be the alcohol. And this one has like 98% natural ingredients. And this one's vintage too, it's from 1847. So I'm trying to see, and this one like helps with your pH level. That's aloe vera, witch hazel. So I'm gonna go back to this um, and use this on my skin because it's, it's just hurting and to me, I mean, I kind of told myself, okay, I'm gonna use the sea breeze and I was really happy with it at first, but if I start getting irritated, I'm gonna stop, at least for a few days and maybe I'll use it again on a day where I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I was filming and I'm gonna do deep clean and just avoid this area. So I'm just absorbing the rose one. I always use this rose one on my skin and it feels really good and it doesn't irritate. So I'm just gonna go back to using that because I just, once you get going with those rashes, they're hard to get rid of. And I just, I don't wanna make it worse. I just don't, it's too painful, especially the winter and then I'll get dry, crusty skin. So I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I told myself if something got bad, I'm gonna stop. And I don't wanna make it worse, so. Now I'm just using the witch hazel and I know this won't irritate my skin and it's alcohol free, so. Oh well, I tried. And I guess I spoke too soon, sorry. I was bragging yesterday how wonderful it was, so um, I'll admit it when I was wrong. Maybe you shouldn't use it twice a day. Definitely irritating my skin. Okay, so I put my organic argan oil all over my face, kind of as like a shield or barrier. And then I'm gonna put the Olay on day cream i'm gonna try to avoid that area i'm all like kind of disappointed now because i just don't want my skin to get worse and then i can't do these challenges because it's too irritated so i'm going to just avoid the nose and i put the argan oil to help soothe my skin a little bit and i'm gonna avoid wearing makeup today too and just take it easy I don't think it's the Olay, I think it's the Sea Breeze. And, and then I'm gonna put on the Olay Beauty Fluid to finish everything and seal it all in. But yeah, I'm just gonna go makeup free today. Try to take it easy and yeah, no more Sea Breeze, I guess. At least for a while, I don't know. I was loving it at first, but my nose is irritated, so I definitely think it has something to do with that. So I will check back with you guys a little later this evening for the nighttime routine. Hello lovelies, so I'm just using up the last of my ponds. I have like none left, but don't worry, I have two more jars of fresh ones. So I'm gonna jump in the showers. I'm not gonna use the Kleenexes today, but good news is it's about this massive pack. I think there's like 20 boxes of Kleenex. So I bought that, so now I'm like good to go for Kleenexes for probably a year. After trying it those few times, I'm starting to realize that I love that method for removing my makeup. It works so well with the cold cream. And I might actually try Kleenexes for like blotting, especially since I'm about to start doing Marilyn Monroe's skincare routine for a week coming up. And there's a lot of Kleenexes that are used 
for hers. So I'm excited about all of this. And this is very satisfying, scraping the bottom of this pond's um, container. I actually don't need any more, but now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use up the rest. So I'm just gonna hop in the shower and rinse this off and I'll check back with you guys in a bit. All right, so I had a pretty good shower and now I'm going to use my witch hazel. So the good news is that my skin is feeling a lot better now that I've stopped using sea breeze and it's not really itchy anymore. So I'm pretty sure that is why my skin was so irritated, but I am disappointed. I really did enjoy using the product. I'm trying to figure out other good things I could do with it because I hate wasting a bottle. I guess I could use it like once a week or something or maybe it's stupid, I should just let it go. But anyways, I'm just really upset. I think I've never figured out why my skin was irritated. Okay, so now let's do the Firming and Night Cream, which I love and been really enjoying it so far. I actually just realized that I have frownies too and I want to do a video. Oh, Pinky's meowing. Pinky, I want to do a video where I use frownies for a week. I've never actually tried them for a long enough period of time, but I'm really curious. Let me know if that's something that would interest you. And now I'm gonna put on the Nivea and I'm gonna open up a fresh German one. And this will kind of seal in all my moisture. It works really well as a sleep mask. Actually, the German one does feel a little different than the Canadian. But maybe because it's a fresh thing, this is interesting. Now I'm slightly bewildered. Anyways, I did check the ingredients. So that is it for today. So we have Monday, Tuesday left. And then on Tuesday evening, I'll share my final thoughts for the whole thing. All right, good morning. Um, I'm in a slight rush because I have to be somewhere in like 10 minutes. So always happens to me. On my days off, I'll like relax in the morning. And then suddenly I'm like, oh crap, I gotta go. Anyways, I'm putting on Noxema, which I do every morning. It's glorious and very invigorating. I feel like it always wakes me up and makes my skin super moisturized and soft. I'm almost done my container, so I'm definitely gonna buy it again. I just love it. I've been using it for like two months now. And at first I was like kind of reluctant for some reason. But now I love it. It's so good. It's like my favorite thing in the morning. And I actually get excited to use it. I'm just really impressed too. And the container's massive, so it's so good. So I'm just gonna rinse this quickly. Now I'm gonna put on my toner to kind of refresh. I'm still sad about the sea breeze. I'm like tempted to use it again, but I know that would be stupid because my skin is starting to feel better actually. Even that dryness around my nose is gone. So obviously I need to let it go, which is hard for me. I'm going to do the hydrating day cream. This is a 1950s one and a beautiful pink color. I love the smell. It's like a subtle, like petally vintage smell. It's hard to explain. Feels so nice on your skin too. And then I'm gonna finish with the beauty fluid, which I kind of use almost as like a primer. I feel like it kind of seals in everything and gives me that extra layer of moisturizer. And that is it for the today. I'm gonna come back later this evening. I might try to put a bit of makeup on today to do like a nice, really heavy like tissue and double cleanse and stuff like that. So I'll check back with you guys later today. Hello lovelies. So I have a brand new fresh thing of ponds. I love it when I have a fresh jar. So I'm going to use that and I have a fresh box of tissues too. So I'm going to use that as well. 
to remove my makeup and tomorrow is the last day of the challenge. So I'm excited to give my final recap. And I'm also excited that I finally took the plunge and used Kleenexes to actually clean off my cold cream because I've always wanted to try it. I've never done it. I've always just washed it. But I think it works really well. I was like pleasantly surprised by how well this technique works. And it just cleans off all of the dirt and makeup. It does feel weird like not splashing your face in water, but I think this is just good for like removing the makeup. And then I like to do the double cleanse and actually splash my face with water and use the Pears Translucent Soap. I'm gonna go ahead and do that again because it just doesn't feel clean enough for me. And now I'm just gonna use my Rose Witch Hazel Toner and apply that all over my face. My face feels pretty good after the pears too. It's not dry, it's not super tight, but it just feels a little bit cleaner. All right, so now it's time for the Olay Night Cream and the beautiful Petal Pink. And it's such a nice texture and gentle smell. And I feel like my skin's been really good since I started using this. It's not too oily, it doesn't feel clogged or irritated. This feels really good. I would definitely continue using the Olay creams. They're really nice. They're just not too heavy or greasy. And then when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels really good too. And then I always like to finish it with a bit of Nivea. And this is the actual one, the German one. And then they put the English on the back over top of the German label. I'm still debating if it feels any different than the Canadian one. I can't tell yet. Maybe slightly? Feels really good though. I think it spreads a bit easier. I'm not sure though. Anyways, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early, because I have a 6, 5 a.m. wake up call. Hello lovelies, so today is the final day of the 1950s skin care challenge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin my hair back. I filmed today, so I have a good amount of makeup on right now. I'm wearing the Vintage Doll Cosmetics Audrey eyeshadow palette and the Sharon lipstick. And then the Veronica bronzer and highlight. So it'll be good for the cold cream for like one last send off to use the tissues and really get all the makeup off. And then I'm going to be doing a face mask, this Queen Hylene one from the 1930s, which was popular in the 50s as well. So I'm gonna do that after. But first let's remove all of my makeup with Pond's cold cream. And then I'm going to do uh, double cleanse and use the pear soap because I feel like with all this makeup on I'm gonna need it at least the extra cleanse so I'm gonna tissue my face section first and ta -da. and then after do my eyes so it'll be easier to do it in two sections wow it sure works i'm so impressed by this just did not think this i don't know why it's like i knew this was popular in the 50s and maybe the 60s and earlier i just never thought to try it till now so but wow am i impressed and it actually works. I guess it's a disposable face cloth, so that makes sense. 
Now I'm gonna do my eyes. Probably just all want silver on my face again. Whoops, now I got some of my hair to really get it off. It really does work well. And one eye, pretty easily. Eye number two works pretty well. And I feel like I got pretty much everything. So now all I have to do is warm up some water and do my double cleanse. All right, so let's double cleanse with my pear of soap. Just to get the extra residue. Off, get my neck and everything. I'm gonna just try to get the eyes without being too invasive. I don't want it to like... And now just a quick splash. Now I feel pretty clean. And fresh, so I'm going to use the Queen Highland Mask. And this is like the mint julep one. This one's really fun because of the bright green color. It reminds me of the marvelous Miss Maisel when she puts on her mask at home. I just love the color, it's so fun. It just reminds me of the 50s. So I'm gonna put it all over my face. I have these baby hairs on my forehead so everything always gets stuck in there. And I'm doing a nice thick layer and right it kind of smells like toothpaste but it feels really good i'm just gonna like make it really nice and thick i like am shocked at how much this smells like toothpaste like a nice mint toothpaste and i had some breakouts on my neck so i'm gonna put it down there too see if that helps with it So I feel like I have a deep, nice, thick layer. And now all I have to do is let it sit. It sits for around 10 minutes. So I'm gonna actually just let it dry and then I'm gonna rinse it off in the shower. It's been out all day at work and stuff. And then once it's rinsed off in the shower, I'm gonna come back and do my final thoughts on the whole routine and finish with the grand finale. And here's an update. So it's pretty much all dry. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and rinse it off now. So I feel like the masks work really well in terms of like pulling out um, dirt and stuff. I had a few like small pimples on my neck and I was really easy to take them out my skin does feel a little bit dry and i do have like a pimple coming in here that's partially my fault because it was like um like a small blackhead and then i tried like extracting it and then it turned into a pimple i don't know why that happens so that's kind of annoying so i'm just going to do the toner the tires witch hazel on my face but yeah that mask was pretty good i think especially if you have any acne or anything it worked pretty well it's getting a little dry though, but I think it's a good mask for acne prone skin or like maybe you should do once a week. It's pretty affordable too. I think you can get it on Amazon and probably at drugstores in the States. All right, so let's do the final thoughts. I'm going to do the Firming Ole Night Cream and then the Nivea. So I really enjoyed this challenge. My thoughts are that I love these two Olay products, plus the Beauty Fluid works as an amazing primer under your foundation, and I was reading the vintage instructions, and it also says to do that. You can also use the Beauty Fluid on your elbows and hands, and like neck and chest, so I'm going to start doing that as well. And my skin has felt really soft and smooth all week not irritated or dry, not too oily or greasy. 
it's like really petal soft and nice and for the price i feel like these products are really affordable so i would definitely keep using ponds and the only thing that didn't work out was the sea breeze which I kind of thought maybe that would happen because a few people warned me when I posted it in my community tab. But all in all, I really enjoy using all these products. I actually like using the pear soap as a double cleanse too. And I plan on doing another video where I use a different beauty bar every day to wash my face. Because um, I have a whole bunch of vintage ones that you can still buy today. So let me know if that would interest you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see any more videos like this in the future. I have really a lot of fun doing this one and I have lots of products that I want to test. So I'll see you guys again soon and thank you all my members who joined this last month. And make sure you check out my membership if you want to see exclusive behind the scenes videos and stuff that I don't post on my main channel. Alright, see you guys soon. Bye!